Since the dawn of time, humans were always fascinated by exploration, beginning with the first explorations made by Homo sapiens, then to the first trip to the moon in 1969, and now arriving planning a mission on Mars. We were always trying to push our limits and to go beyond our capacities in order to search for life and to prepare for the future of humanity. So, is life possible on Mars? And what are the difficulties and the challenges that we may face in order to accomplish our, our quest? Well, that's what we're gonna see in this video. Mars, also called the Red Planet, was in fact first seen in 1610 by Galileo. It is the fourth nearest planet to the Sun and the second smallest after Mercury. It has a diameter which is two times smaller than the Earth's one. Even though the season changes in it are similar to those in Earth thanks to William Herschel multiple observations in the 18th century and to a lot of Mars missions such as Mars Marine and Mars Viking. And according to Michael Kerr's book, Surface on Mars and to a very detailed map provided by the US Geological Survey in 2014 showing that Mars could also have some similar geological features to those in Earth like canyons, volcanoes and rivals. But despite all these factors, it is still hard to think about this possibility. First, because of the long distance of the trip, approximately 2.5 years, and the risks that astronauts could be exposed to, such as radiation and lack of resources. Secondly, because of the distance between Mars and the Earth, which is variable, and that's because Mars turns slower on the Sun than the Earth does, exactly 687.2 Earth days. Finally, and most importantly, Mars' atmosphere, which is rich by 96% of dioxide of carbon and the rare pool of oxygen. So, the first settlers will need an enormous quantity of bottles of oxygen. And here we're gonna perform an experiment showing the difference between Mars' atmosphere and the Earth's one. We're gonna need two candles, vinegar and bicarbonate of sodium. We're gonna turn on the candles, put a mixture between vinegar and bicarbonate of sodium, and this mixture will produce a gas called dioxide of carbon. And if we put this mixture by the second candle, it will turn off. The first candle didn't manage to turn off because it was in contact with the oxygen, and the second one turned off because it was in contact with the mixture that has dioxide of carbon. In addition to that, a Mars rover named Viking discovered the presence of microbial respiration in Mars, and that's maybe a proof on the presence of extraterrestrial life in Mars, and that will be this task much harder. Finally, the accomplishment of this mission is both related to time and to the development of technology. So, in your opinion, do you believe in this possibility by 2030? And is there extraterrestrial life in Mars? Well, only the future will show it to us.